Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use a captured T-pose from your motion capture system rather than this you know, mathematically perfect T-pose for retargeting. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I run the retargeter and we play back this animation in the beginning of each of our takes, it's kind of our regular procedure to have the performer start out in an A pose and then uh, move into a T pose before performing. And if we take a look at this T pose, the data is coming in a little bit, well, wonky. Um, the one arm is a little bit lower than the other. There's a little dislocation in the joint. Um, there's even some odd shape to the feet. And I suspect at this point that this was uh, a result of, um, you know, a less than perfect a post calibration and, and range of motion of the character, the performer uh, could be marker placement issues, but in whatever reason, um, we're getting a uh, off kilter uh, T pose in the data, even though our um, reference video shows the performer in a proper T pose. So the uh, performer is in in the stage physically looking a little bit more like this uh, but when the data came through uh, we're getting this little bit of an offset position so what we want to do is have the performance of our target character mimic more closely the original performance and our starting performance starting point for this performance is this uh, T pose. And so we want to use this T pose as the source for our retargeting. So how do we do that? Well, we go to our uh, panel over here on the left and choose source, and, and then we can go to this create menu. And in the drop down there, we can export the pose asset. So whatever frame we're on here, we can create a pose asset that memorizes all of the positions of the joints as they are in this moment. So I'm going to export a pose and uh, here's, you know, I've done this before. There's mocap T pose and I'm saving it in my uh, Vicon folder. And uh, so I'll just call this demo T pose in this case. So we'll save that demo T pose. And now that that's saved out, I can go into edit retargeting pose. And now that I've done that again, I'm in the source. Uh, selector and I'm going to go to this create drop down again and this time I'm going to import from pose asset and here I'll go and uh, find that demo T pose if I couldn't find it easily I could of course type that into my search and there's my demo T pose and I can import that and so now I've got the motion captured T pose as my source pose and it's going to be the um, position that maps to this more appropriate T pose in our target character. So now when we run our retargeter, we uh, have a better match for our performance. So I hope this helps until next time. Have fun.